managerial accounting, adjusting cost of goods sold for over or under applied manufacturing overhead. Now, what we're looking at here is a combination of the cost of goods manufactured and cost of goods sold calculations into one schedule just for space purposes. Now there's a couple of things I want you to note about this. First of all, in the total manufacturing cost section, we've got direct materials and direct labor just as we've seen before, but the amount of the overhead that we see here, notice that that is the applied overhead. That was the overhead based on the estimated predetermined overhead rate times the actual machine hours worked during the period since machine hours was our allocation basis. And the second thing that I'd like for you to note again is that we are combining the cost of goods manufactured which remember is our total cost of goods that were completed during the period or in a job order system total cost of jobs completed during the period with the calculation of cost of goods sold. So this looks pretty much like the cost of goods manufactured and the cost of goods sold sections that we have seen in previous videos. Now how do we adjust this number for the over or in the case of our example, the underapplied manufacturing overhead. Well, notice that our overhead, or excuse me, our cost of goods sold that's shown down here at the bottom of the schedule is unadjusted cost of goods sold. So that tells us that this isn't the final amount of cost of goods sold. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to adjust this cost of goods sold figure which is a million fifty five. Notice these amounts are in thousands of dollars so this is one million fifty five thousand dollars not a thousand fifty five. We need to adjust this cost of goods sold for that under applied overhead. And if you recall from the previous video, our apply, under applied overhead was $5,000. And also, remember, we're bringing the uh, cost of goods sold up to what it would have been if actual overhead had been charged. And actual was greater than the applied overhead, so we need to add that under applied overhead. of $5,000. So our adjusted cost of goods sold or our final cost of goods sold which will be reported on the income statement is $1,055 plus 5000 or $1,060,000 thousand dollars and that's the amount that will go to the income statement. Now also note if this had been over applied manufacturing overhead instead of under applied remember we do the opposite. We would subtract over applied because in that case we would have charged too much to work in process and in turn to cost of goods sold. So we'd have to back that difference out of the unadjusted cost of goods sold. So that's how we deal with over or under applied overhead that results from the difference between estimated overhead and actual overhead costs that are incurred during the period.